all right lenses to understand culture very first thing was just like we were discussing in the previous slide about iceberg right how you're going to understand culture right so and the two perspective of understanding the culture very first is emic approach and then second one is ethic approach right emic approach is you can say inside out approach right so for example if i would like to know about something about a culture right? let's take chinese culture right so what are the ways uh, i can find apart from just googling it right so one thing it can be i will ask a local person a local chinese to explain me about his or her culture right so there is a, a good chance that i will get good knowledge from him or her but there are uh, a lot of chances that the information that i'm going to get is going to be a bit biased how because if i right now if i ask you uh, about uh, your culture right explain me your culture right so what you are going to uh, start bringing in right all the positive side right first right so everything positive about your culture food good food good uh, festivities right how you people uh, interact so all these things are going to be the positive side is going to start coming in so that is what emic approach is so although insight is good right but it is going to have a more biased approach more biased response right? so in order to eliminate that being an international business graduate that is also an important part because it is going to give you more insight because he is that person is from that culture but if i need a neutral stance i need positive as well as negative both right so that is going to be achieved through ethic approach how it is going to be done i will i will delegate the task to a third person right i will maybe for example i will ask a german right to go to china right and observe all these things so what he is going to do he is going to observe each and everything all the positive side and all the negative negative side all the positive side how people are interacting how they are behaving and how they are uh, celebrating simultaneously he is also going to observe uh, some negative side maybe the crime maybe how, how people are rejecting or maybe there can be multiple things in that culture right so attic is going to give you positive as well as negative of that society so that is then you are going to combine them and find a neutral stance right so it is going to be a both side approach so that is what attic approach is emic is positive side biased attic is both sides is going to be a neutral or central central space right then comes corporate culture how corporate how how organizations are forming their culture right so we are all seeing this organization is is has a has its unique culture google has its unique culture facebook has its unique culture ibm has its unique culture unilever has its unique culture racket has a unique culture right png has a unique culture dell has a unique culture how they are bringing in that uniqueness Right. So that is going to be bringing in from national culture first right because how many people are, are working in that organization you have to take into account all of them as well right because they are part of your organization you have to value them you have to value their ethnicity you have to value their religion you have to value their gender you have to value their institution class education system everything nationality right so taking all these things and now you're going to be mixing it with your organization policies right and you're going to be forming a an organization culture so that is what is called a corporate culture right for example if an organization is going to have only one ethnicity so each and everything is going to be just similar to their national culture because they are they don't have any person from uh, outside the culture while if an organization right which has uh employees from almost all the ethnicity background ethnic backgrounds and different uh, nationalities then they have to take into account each and everything so that no single ethnic ethnic background or no single religion or no single nationality is going to be facing uh dejection right or facing or you can say kind of uh, or demotivating right so you should 
take into account all the people who are working right so you have to take into account the background of all of them so that is what corporate culture is right now again another thing lenses to understand culture that is high context culture and low context culture some cultures are all are high context culture some are low context culture what is high context and what is low context low context cultures are uh, those culture right which elaborate on verbal cues on verbal explanation on or who are emphasizing more on spoken words right so that are called low context culture right while on the other side those who are high context culture right they are going to be simultaneously on not only the verbal part but they are also going to be putting in gestures postures emotions right so they are also going to be equally taking all these aspects uh, equal importance right for example asian culture right just like you can see on my face i have multiple emotions right while explaining i will be um, at bit point i will be a bit excited right or on this on the other side i will be a bit low right so you can if i am even not speaking you can see from my face what emotions are running inside me at this point so that is what high context culture is while on the other side the people person from a low context culture he has to or she has to explain what he or she is feeling he or she cannot uh, put the expression or put the emotions on his or her face right maybe for example western side right if they are angry whatever they they can do is they can increase the volume right or they can shout right or they can explain that i am not i am angry at that time right so most of uh you can you might have witnessed right uh women in western society when whenever they are interacting with their children right they are explaining that i am i am not feeling good about your performance or i am angry with you right while if you are seeing her face it is going to be quite neutral right while in asian side let's take india or pakistan right that parent is has not said a single word right just the eye movement or just how she is seeing her child right is going to totally communicate that she is not uh, feeling happy with the performance so this is what high context and low context culture are so you can easily identify this with the movies or with the with the programs on tvs right the difference between high and low context cultures